Marseille has the highest unemployment rate in France. Over one third of young people here are without work. Enzo is fed up. He wants change and is convinced the far right Front National can bring it about. He's a great admirer of Marion Maréchal Le Pen, granddaughter of Jean-Marie Le Pen, the party's original founder. Just 26, she's the rising star of the French far right and already a member of the French National Assembly. She recently stood for election in the Provence Alte Côte d'Azur constituency, which includes Marseille and Nice. Marion is young. She represents a new era. She's the ideal face of the Front National. She performs well in debates and upholds the party line. Her achievements are impressive. We're also young, and seeing a young woman reach such heights at such a young age is inspiring. The Front National wants to see France leave the EU and to return to the French franc. The party is convinced that the only way France can overcome the debt crisis is to go it alone. When we have political parties ignoring French homeless people and showing immigrants preferential treatment, where is the fraternity in that? We are proud of our identity. We're taking the French flag that other parties have cast into the gutter and are holding it high again. Her insistence on France as la grande nation goes down well with the younger generation, even if it's a term most of them only know from history books. We're taught in school that we're a great people. There was the French Revolution in 1789. We had Napoleon. We had the kings. But now France has relinquished its sovereignty to Europe. But we don't care about Europe at all. Many young people are proud of French history. Over a third of them voted for the Front National in the first round of regional elections. In the South, the figure was even higher. In recent years, the established parties have veered from one corruption scandal to the next. Observers say they failed to address the crisis besetting domestic politics. France is the poor man of Europe, not because the French are the worst off, but because problems aren't being solved. There are five million people unemployed and no solution whatsoever in sight. And now we have an identity problem. All parties, including the Front National, like to cite the illustrious history of the French Republic. The trouble is that France doesn't know how to find its place in today's globalized world. Enzo and his friends are working round the clock campaigning for Marion Maréchal Le Pen. He agrees with her avowal that immigrants are responsible for the problems in France. Marseille is traditionally Catholic, but the city is now home to some 130,000 Muslims. No party has managed to find ways that could boost their integration. The reality is that rival gangs of drug dealers dominate the city's Muslim neighborhoods. Former President Sarkozy didn't follow his own words. He promised to clean up the immigrant neighborhoods, but he didn't do anything. In cities all over France, there are neighborhoods that even police dare not enter. For Enzo, the Front National is the only party that can help. It has no remedy for the high unemployment rate, but that doesn't seem to bother him. He thinks the problem will be solved once the party's in government. He has blind faith in the Front National. But not all of its leaders are as charming as Marion Maréchal Le Pen. Stéphane Ravier, a member of the French Senate and a local mayor in Marseille, orders Enzo to stop talking to us in no uncertain terms. You know what you can do with that camera? You like the press, do you? You've been with us eight days and you're already chatting away. You need to learn some discipline or you are out of here. I'll give you the mic back. So, speaking to the press is a no-go. The Front National's leaders are determined to control the party's lower echelons at any price. On the eve of the second round of regional elections, we can't find Enzo at the party headquarters. 
he obviously hasn't been allowed in. Marion Maréchal Le Pen gives a victory speech, even though she didn't win the seat. Despite her defeat, she won't be softening her stance on immigrants, the press, the other parties. These cynical profiteers who think they can scare us off our path. To them I say, you're wrong. We'll double our efforts and our fighting spirit is undampened. Our love for France has never been greater. The far right in the south of France has the wind in its sails. The Front National now has three times more support than it did six years ago, mainly thanks to a younger generation that fears for the future and is easy prey for populists and rabble-rousers.